Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Explorations One Lab Online. I'm Dr. Sandy Connolly, and I will be guiding you through learning some hands on labs, doing actual labs in your kitchen or your dorm room or some place relatively safe with access to water, we hope. And this is a course that accompanies the Explorations One online lecture course. So you should be enrolled in both, but if you are taking the lab as a different requirement, please let me know so you can get access to some of the other materials. The primary reason is this is sort of a course that will require you to have some background in biology and you would get that in the lecture component but you would not necessarily get that just in this lab component so if you're enrolled in both terrific you're in the right place what I want to do today is show you my courses the RIT page and show you what your labs are going to look like on the front end of hands-on labs okay you ready to get started so this is your My Courses page, standard for most of your courses at RIT, I assume. And so what we'll see is an announcement section. Everything that you need to know about the course will be posted here for you. I do not send emails to the class unless there's some sort of emergency. Okay, so everything you need will be here. And you'll see over the course of the semester, I'll post some additional announcements for you. Right now, it's just the welcome to the class. My contact information is in the top corner for you, so it's easy to access anytime you need me. The schedule is probably going to be of most interest to you. What are you getting yourself into? Well, you're getting yourself into about 12 labs that are going to explore the different aspects of the Explorations One class, which is an introduction to cell biology and an introduction to evolution. So for the first unit, it goes along, if you are in the lecture, component of the course, it goes right along in order with that course. So you're going to be doing application in lab that you would then hopefully tie into your knowledge in lecture as well. So the first unit is exactly what you would expect perhaps from an introduction. What is biology? Then we get into some macromolecules and some other basic biochemistry. You'll see that there are three labs associated with this first part, an introduction to the online labs so you actually know what we expect you to submit for the labs, do in the labs, and so on. Basic research methods, what is science research and how do you do it, especially in your kitchen. And then biological molecules and looking at actually determining carbohydrates, fats, proteins in samples, okay? So you'll have reports due you see each week. Some of them are more or less intensive. I'll show you how to gauge that in just a little bit. For each module, you will have a lab quiz. This will be on my courses and will give you some information about those as the semester gets started. Um, but they'll be due sort of towards the end of of this set, so if your re final report is due September 11th, you can expect your quiz to be due that week because you're starting right in, as you see, to the next module with your re next report due the following week. You'll notice that all these reports are going to be due on Sundays, the, so you have the entire week to get them done. They are going to be open to you so that as you complete the first one, you can start the second one. When you complete the second one, you can start the third one. Um, so you just have to really pay attention to the due dates to make sure you're not getting behind. All right. The only other assessment in this course is going to be a virtual poster session where you're actually going to make a poster in PowerPoint and we are going to display them and get together and talk about those. That'll be the week of December 5th. And then your virtual presentation, which is actually you talking about your poster, will be due in a video format um, that week as well. You're going to get more information about that as we go along. 
So what are these labs I keep talking about? Your labs are actually going to come from a company called Hands-On Learning. You're going to order the lab pack kit. This is the only thing that you have to purchase for the course. Everything that you need will come in that kit. Okay, so you'll actually receive it in the mail. It actually has to come via the United States Postal Service to a mailbox. So you'll have to get moving on this and get things ordered. Now, the first two things, these intro to the online labs, um, and there'll be a safety, a lab safety uh, experiment for you or module for you to go through as well. Those you can do before you even get your kit. So really what you're looking at is you have to have your kit before September 4th so that you can do this first lab that's actually going to require the kit. So don't drag your feet on it. Um, get moving and get things ordered and I'm going to show you how you actually do that. So you're going to end up going to hands-on lab. So this website here and you'll see student orders okay so you're going to click on student orders and you're going to say do you have a login and password and this tells you a little bit about the scholarship program um, so if you're interested in applying for the scholarship to get the free kit please do that here the kit will cost you about 96 dollars but that's for the entire semester and has everything you could possibly need i'm going to show you the kit in just a minute okay so you'll click no you don't have a login um, unless you've used hands-on labs in other classes and then maybe you already have a login um, so I'm gonna actually take you back here for just a second and what I want us to look at is in content here the students getting started so if you click this it's actually going to walk you through all of the steps that you need to go through and so because it's going to look different from my end as an instructor. I want you to do this on your own. Create your account and get your lab pack ordered. You see here it's, it's going to give you um, that information and how to access your course. Now, how to access your course is this link right here. So you're going to need this link um, for actually getting into our course and creating an account and logging in. So you'll want to do that, um, create your account, submit that, and it's going to kick you into our class. Now, you will only have available to you those early labs I mentioned, the lab safety and the lab training and the getting started with the labs before you get your kit. Once you get your kit, you're going to get a code with your kit and we see that, oops, we see that here. So when you get your kit, you get this SN number or kit code, and that's what's actually going to have to go in so that you can access the rest of the labs, okay? So in the meantime though, let's go in and look at our actual course. What you'll see when you come in, this is my instructor view. The student view is not behaving today, of course, because technology always fails us at the last minute, right? So when you go in, you'll see notes from, you, from me. This will give it to you in a list. This is uh, just a welcome right now. Um, this is the course description. And then you'll see your lessons, okay? And when you look at your lessons, let's look at the first one that says getting started. When you click into exploration, it's going to tell you how long this is estimated to take you. So you see, even for this first lab, it's gonna take you a couple of hours. Think, if you were in an in-person lab, it would typically be three hours. So most of these are geared around three hours. Depending how fast you write, how fast you do things, this time may vary. But I encourage you, please, 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 look at this experimentation time. For some of these experiments, you are going to have to incubate or wait for something to happen over a 48-hour period. That means if you have a lab report due on September 18th and you wait until September 18th to start it and you have to have a 48-hour incubation, guess what? Your lab report is going to be late. We don't want that, right? Okay. So 
when you start into exploration, this is a lot of information, background information. It's going to teach you how to unpack your kit when you get your kit. It's going to do all of these things um, and step you through them. All right, and you have to step through these and you'll see um, it's going to show your progress in the top here, how far along you are. And remember, it said it would take us about 30 minutes to get through this exploration step. It's going to teach you how to write lab reports, um, graph things, and all of that. So the experimentation itself in this case is actually looking at the materials. So in this case, you have to supply some things. So students supplied, hopefully you can find a pen or pencil and a piece of paper. For other experiments, Let's look at this materials, and you have this drop down as well. Go to materials, and you see the material list for our labs. For experiment getting started, you need a pen and a piece of paper. For lab safety, you need a pen. For experiment number one, the big experiment number one, macromolecules, you're going to need boiling water. As you can imagine, boiling water does not come in the box from the postman. Okay, you are going to have to boil some water. This means you are going to need access to some way to boil water. All right, so you're going to need an egg. Again, they're not going to send an egg to you in the mail. That could get really, really gross if it sat on a loading dock in 90 degree weather, right? Okay, you're going to need a potato. All right, it's going to give you some things like this. This is your student supplied list, so you're going to need to check this. Maybe you need to borrow grandma's kitchen to do some of your experiments. But then if you go down, HOL supplied, this is what is actually going to come in your box. Okay, all of this stuff, and I'm going to show you in a minute. You get goggles, you get beakers, you get all of these reagents. Pretty cool, huh? And if you go on, you can see the rest of the experiments and what's included. But let's go back to this one we were working on because you're going to go through this experimentation section, but eventually you're going to have to go in and do a report. It's a lab. You have to write a report. So it's actually going to help you write this report. You're going to say, do you feel confident in your ability to add data to a variety of panels? And that might not make sense to you right now, but it will when you work through this. You're going to enter in your city, state, local time, time in Fiji. This will all make sense when you work through it, I promise. Chemical formulas and so on, okay? When you get all done with that, at the bottom, once you have filled all this in, it's going to give you a button that says submit. You're going to submit your final report to me. Now, do not email this report to me. It will guaranteed get lost in my inbox. Instead, you need to download the PDF. It's going to give you the option to do that. And once you download the PDF, what you're going to do is come into My Courses, go into the Dropbox, and you'll see Report Number 1. And what you're going to do is go into that Report Number 1, and you're going to upload, you're going to upload that file. I have all of the due dates here for you, okay, of when all of those reports are going to be due. Now, some of you may be asking, well, what if I submitted a report late? I do have a late policy for you on these. It is 10% per day. Here's the late policy under assessment and grading in my courses. 10% per day, um, including weekends, ladies and gentlemen, including weekends, okay? So let's not, re let's not be submitting things late. After seven days, you simply get a zero on it. Okay, so after seven days after the due date, so this first one is due August 28th, seven days after that, this box will actually close and you won't be able to submit your report. Okay, these are not reports that are going to be mind bending for you. Okay, you need to demonstrate to me that you understand what you did in the experiment and how that data was pulled together for you, okay? When we get into doing the quizzes and so on, they'll be here for you as well. I encourage you to come in, take a look at the syllabus, the course information, how things are going to be assessed, how things are graded. I give you um, here 
the number of lab reports. I will drop your two lowest. So if you miss one, it is not the end of the world, okay? Online quizzes, I'll drop your one lowest. Our poster session and our presentation, as I mentioned. This is a plus minus graded course, so you'll see that for your grade distribution as well, okay? Um, so I will keep your grades updated as I grade your reports. You'll see those coming into the grade section on my courses as well. Okay, so this is the basic overview of, of how things are going to get going for you and what things will look like when you come in. And I'll show you just briefly this map. This is your first major one, right? So if we click into exploration, you see this one instead looks at three hours for the experiment time, all right? Um, so you're going to need to think about that, what you've got to do to go through those, the materials you need. You're going to do a starch and sugar lab, okay? Um, and this is where you'll be playing with eggs, see? Um, so these are the kinds of things that we want you to do to get some hands-on experience with biology to make the topics make more sense to you. That's why this course goes along with the online lecture course, okay? So when I talk about lab pack, what am I talking about? This is lab pack. You are going to get this in the mail and it is full of all kinds of really fun stuff. Okay? So like I said, there's a video that's going to walk you through unpacking it, but I just want to show you very briefly, open a line, you get things that are going to confuse you like aluminum foil. You're going to get other things um, including MSDS emergency things. Make sure you look at those. You get gloves. You have to keep track of all of this stuff. You get this thing labeled glucose test strip. Well, that comes in macromolecules. You'll use that pretty soon. You get things like funnels and cups, okay? You're going to get Petri dishes. You're going to get thermometers. This box is literally stuffed with things. This very carefully packaged bubble wrap is full of beakers. This is science in your house, folks, okay? This is super fun, and I hope you get engaged with it and love it as much as I do, because I think this stuff is just fantastic, right? Very carefully packaged test tubes, okay? All important safety goggles, okay? And other weird things like straws, okay? But then you're going to get things like this. What is this? This is a test tube brush. This means that you should not be throwing things away after you finish a lab. You might need them again, okay? So it's going to tell you at the end of every single lab that you do, there's going to be a section that says lab cleanup, okay? And that's going to tell you what to do. So things like you need to wash your test tubes. You need to pour something into the garbage as opposed to down the sink. Okay, so it's going to walk you through everything. Do not throw anything away until you read that section and make sure, okay? We don't want you getting to lab number eight and go, ah, I don't have my test tubes that I threw away in lab number five, okay? Don't do that. Hang on to everything, okay? So that's the basic gist of your kit. And if you unpack everything, I suggest you find a different box to put it in because I have yet to be able to get mine to actually go back into the box, okay? Um, so, but this should be very interactive for you. That's the whole point, right? We don't want you to just watch things move around a screen. We want you to actually get something um, important as far as application out of this, all right? So, get moving. Find out how to order your on th your lab pack so the postman or postwoman can bring it to you as fast as possible, okay? Email me if you have questions. I can't wait to see how things go. And if you have feedback or comments at any time on the lab pack or on the labs or have questions, do not hesitate to ask me, okay? We need to work together on this so everyone succeeds. All right? See you soon.